lean in one, and lean in two, and lean in three, and lean in four, and lean in five. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Season's greetings, everybody. Tumbasugi, Anin, Buju, welcome everyone. Whew. Hope you all are having a great holiday break. Um, I know that I am, but I'm also definitely putting on some uh, some extra water weight these days, eating real good and celebrating real fine. So I think it's a good time for all of us to get back into fitness. You know, starting today, we're going to be doing these 12 days of X mass. We're going to be putting the mass in Xmas, although maybe not really, because you might want to burn calories. But it's great for all of that. It's great for burning calories, building muscle, toning muscle. We're going to get it all right here in this notebook that I've been using every year. Maybe that's what I should ask for, Xmas, a new notebook. But we're here. We're going to get into it. Got the fireplace on, everything's ready to go, and I'm going to stop. Whew. Perfect. Santa Claus arrived just in time. Ah. And there we go. Now it's time for the x Mass challenge. Alright, so we're back from that quick delay. Like I said, Santa Claus has arrived early. Great timing too, because we're just around the corner from it. So we're gonna start, we're gonna get right into this. I got my dog barking. It's a wonderful time to work out. All right, so 12 days of Maki, Xmas, putting the mass in Xmas. We're gonna talk about it. We're doing 12 exercises a day. We're starting with five reps, five movements each. And we're going to be adding five to the same exercises every day after that. So we're going from the 25th of December to the 6th of January. So got the fireplace kicking, presents to the side, out of breath from running up the stairs, and we're going to get into it. We're starting with five, so it's accessible to everybody, and I'm really hyped about it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with some shrugged flies. So this is going to be a great exercise. We're going to get us back into the warm-up and we're going to get right into it. So first thing, shrug flies. We're working the traps and the deltoids. We're going to start with a shrug just like that and we're going to start fists together and we're going to come upwards. That's one, two, three, four, and five. After that, we're jumping right into the Superman handcuffs. So we're gonna start Superman position, and we're gonna bring those arms straight down to your sides, up the glutes to the lower back, above to the ears, to the lower back, to the ears, lower back, And five. Whew. Feeling pretty good. We're working the rhomboids and the latissimus dorsi. And now we're going to jump in to those diamond push ups. So we're working the biceps and the triceps. So, diamond push up. Now, if you can't do five in a row, legs straight, you're welcome to do them. Knees bent. The idea is that we're reaching five sometime today. If you could do it in the span of the video. Then great job. Five diamond push-ups right there, right off the start. We're gonna move into the Sphinx push-up, which is great for our forearm and our grip. So we're gonna start Sphinx position, forearms flat on the mat, palms face down. And we're gonna push up, back down, up, back down up, all the way to five. Again, pushing 
with our forearms and flexing those fingers, digging into the mat. Really great stuff, feeling it all the way through my upper body in the first day. We're gonna jump now into our core. So jumping into the core, we're gonna start with some leg lifts and some sit-ups. So we're starting with the lower abs, working the full section. It should be great. So we're gonna start, hands by our side, lifting, toes flexed, pointing at us, stopping right before we hit the floor. Again, up to five, just like so. Whew. Now into the sit-ups. Again, still working that core. Five sit-ups. After this, we're gonna transition into the lower back. Right at five, switching into the lower back, we're gonna start with some wood chops. So we're gonna be doing this on both sides, starting with five, coming up, Again, double fist in the air, down to the left foot, right side working first. Again, we're bringing that double fist all the way around. Imagine you're making a question mark, both sides. Starting from above, boom, all the way over, boom, all the way over, and boom. So. Making that hook in the air, working the obliques and the lower back, feeling pretty good. We're also working that latissimus dorsi just a little bit. But before we jump into our last exercise, make sure to get some water. Again, we're moving pretty quickly through these, so we're sure to burn some calories. We're gonna need that hydration. So we're gonna get into our good morning. So all in the lower back, Intensive. I wish I could say that I was wearing this shirt with the intent to be funny, but uh, I've outgrown all my shirts. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna start fingertips to the ears by our side, arching the spine, chest up forward. One, two, three, four, and five. So again, Working that lower back, we're coming down to the hip hinge, right back up. We're working the hamstrings, keeping the legs straight, hips square all the way through. We're jumping into the lower body now. Whew. So we're gonna start with some alternating lateral scissor kicks. So like the name suggests, we're gonna be going horizontally, alternating sides. Great for the hip abduction muscles and adduction muscles, we're gonna start crossing those legs. Up to 10. Again, we wanna get five on each side. Just like so. Great stuff there. We're gonna move into our front squats. Just five of these here. Starting hips squared. We're gonna bring our fingers together, arch that spine, make that C, stick the butt out, out back. And we're coming down, as the name suggests, frontward onto our supporting muscles. So onto those quadriceps, pushing with those hamstrings, really feeling it in the quad. So as we start getting through the week, those are gonna get progressively harder. Again, we're gonna try to do them in one set, but if you can't, take breaks. Whew. So now we're gonna move into elevated glute bridges. Of course, this is great for the glutes, for the hamstrings. Already feeling it. Jumping into it, pulling yourself close to an elevated surface. For me, my couch. The closer you are, the deeper the push in the hamstrings. We're pushing, tightening the glutes as we come up, but pushing with the hamstrings, tightening with the glutes, pushing and supporting hamstrings and the glutes. Whew. So good stuff there. Working out everything there into our last exercise. We're going to start with some elevated calf lifts. So of course, these ones are a doozy. 
great workout. Easy way to give yourself an elevated platform. Roll up your yoga mat. Again, you want to make sure you got a really nice foam one here. We're going to get around to the other side of it. And we're going to start. Two. Three. Four. And five. So again, I rolled up the mat. Coming back on the heels. And pushing all the way up. Really great stuff for the lower back, the lower back, the lower calves. Whew. So we've gotten through the first day of the 12 days of Xmas. So feel pretty good about yourself. I feel pretty good about myself. Definitely worked up an early sweat. And in the next video, we're gonna aim to do 10 of each of these exercises. So. Hope to see you then. Again, uh, happy holidays, Merry Xmas, and uh, season's greetings, winter solstice, you know, have a great celebration out there. Whew. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.